Hey, welcome in to another episode of We All Have That Dodge Dart Problem. Today we are going to replace a blow motor in a 2013 Dodge Dart. This will be our work area on the passenger side. We're going to start by removing the little felt cover right here and then also this little side panel. This will probably be one of the easiest things you replace. Maybe like 20 minutes of your time, it's not bad at all. Go ahead, start by removing the side panel. Just watch those tabs, be careful not to break them off. There's also these little tabs here. They're a little bit more difficult to get off, but I found that it worked best for me. If you wiggle them side to side, the panel comes off pretty easy. And then you're gonna wanna tuck that panel somewhere that is out of the way. Okay, once you remove that side panel, your blow motor is in that upper corner right here. Uh, there's a red and black wired connector that you need to remove before you start any maintenance on it. Um, if you press the little tab that's on the back side of the connector and then pull it out, just go ahead, remove it, tuck it somewhere where it would be out of the way. There are three of these bolts on this blow motor cover. Uh, you can take a 7 seconds or a five and a half inch socket. Um, depends on if you're SAE or metric. There's one of the bolts on top of the cover and then there's two on the sides that you wanna remove. Once you've removed the bolts, you can go ahead and remove that cover off. You don't need it. Um, and then go ahead and pull your blow motor out. It just takes a little bit of wiggling, but it comes out fairly easy. And then this is your old blow motor. Now we're going to go ahead and install the new one. So I just wanted to show you real quick. This cover is just made for this specific model of blow motor. You don't need it for your new one. But just for clarity, I'm just showing you that it doesn't fit on the new one because the new one already has its own. Now we're going to install our new blow motor. Um, this did take a lot of uh, wiggle with one arm, uh, but it, it was fairly easy to get in. Right here, we're just adjusting the holes to line up so we can put our bolts back through. The orientation of the red and black wire actually needs to be at the 12 o'clock position instead of the nine o'clock as it shows here. And then you're going to hook up your red and black connector at the bottom. The most important part is to do an operational check. What's the point of changing it if it doesn't work, right? So all we're going to do, I'm going to put it at different settings to make sure that it's working properly. You'll hear a coast down of the blow motor whenever I put it down to about a three or a four. It's perfectly normal. It'll go away. And then we switch on and off the max AC to make sure it works when indicated. <laughs> 